Hey, it's Justin. So we just sent out tax bills a few days ago and you're probably wondering how did we come up with all that information that's on your bill? Well, that's really the responsibility of lots of different parties. So I'm going to share with you real quick about how those numbers were derived and how we got the information on ownership and addresses um, for us to generate those bills. So first, we'll start off with our office, the tax collector's office, and what we are responsible for here. Um, basically, we're responsible for receiving the tax roll from the property appraiser's office and then submitting that um, to a vendor to have bills printed and then mailed out. From that point, we're charged to collect those taxes and then disperse them out to the local municipalities and local governments. So basically, we bill, we collect, and we disperse. That's our main function um, in regards to property taxes. Now, the property appraiser's office, they are responsible for setting up the assessed values, determining if exemptions apply, and also the ownership information or the property address and mailing address of record. So if you have questions regarding assessed values, exemptions, um, ownership information or addresses, you would need to contact their office, the Okaloosa County Property Appraiser, and uh, get those things worked out. The next party that's involved is your local government. So this is your cities, your municipalities, your county, your school, and what their responsibility is, is to set the millage rate, or basically the rate at which you're being taxed. So every year they set a budget and then they determine what millage rate needs to be set to fund that budget. And then they certify that information to the Department of Revenue and the property appraiser, and then it flows down to our office to be printed on the tax bill. If you look there on your bill, in the middle of the bill, it will show a line-by-line -line item for all the taxing districts to which you're paying taxes and their rate. The next party is any special districts, and so these would be considered non-ad valorem, so the tax is not based on value but by some other means. A common one here is the Blue Water Bay MSBU, and then there's some fire districts in the north end, and those are also on your bill if you have one, and so basically they certify what their what amount they're levying against that property and that is included on the tax bill and will be paid as part of your annual taxes. And then finally, the last party that's involved in property taxes is the property owner, you. You yourself are the last piece of the puzzle and by Florida statute, you're actually charged with the responsibility of knowing that taxes are due and payable each year. Now we just finished mailing out 120,000 tax bills and if for some reason you have not received yours, it is your responsibility to contact our office, the tax collector's office, so that we can deliver you a tax bill. So you can, you can do that by a number of ways. You can call us or you can go to our website, which is probably the easiest, and uh, search by your name and address and you can pull up your bill. You can print it. You can even pay it from there. We can answer any more of your questions. We would love to. That is what we're here to do. And so you can leave us a comment below and be sure to check out our property tax video series, which we'll link up above in the comments. We're trying our best to share with you as much information as we can about property taxes and, and all the other services we offer. So if you haven't already, uh, you know, subscribe. We have a YouTube channel. We also have Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. So be sure to follow us on one of those sites or all of them if you want. And uh, so you can stay up to date with what's going on in our office and things that affect you.